Oh, hello. Do you ever get these ideas and think to yourself, hey, that would be a good idea for a t-shirt? Well, I can teach you how you can sell t-shirts online and earn passive income by doing so. My name is Anthony Zubia, and I'm a creative director and graphic designer in Austin, Texas. So, right out of college, I got a design internship and found myself struggling to make ends meet. I was in a small apartment in the wrong side of town, and I knew something had to be done. But thankfully, those days as a starving artist are over. So, through various print-on-demand websites, I've been able to increase my passive income by selling my designs on t-shirts, stickers, posters, you name it. Now, what I love about this process is that you upload your artwork once, and it's online forever for someone to purchase. So whenever someone buys your art, you earn a percentage of that sale, and you don't need to worry about shipping or inventory. Setting up these various print-on-demand websites can earn you hundreds, even thousands of dollars over time. So in my course, I'll teach you where to find inspiration, fonts, graphics, and how to upload your artwork onto three print-on-demand sites, and I'll even add in some bonuses at the end as well. Thank you for viewing my course, and remember, never let anybody tell you that you can't make a living as a creative or an artist. Alright, before I get started today, first I'd like to thank you for watching my class and tuning in. You know, out of all the courses on Skillshare, I appreciate you watching mine. Alright, so where can you find some inspiration for t-shirt designs? Well, you can go to Pinterest, and as you can see, you know, big trend are these kind of, you know, gray shirts with some type on it. And you don't need to be some kind of badass designer in order to come up with a good shirt and make some money. So I can see here we got some funny stuff like resting Grinch face. And, you know, that's a horrible idea. What time? You know, it's pretty easy to come up with some stuff. You know, right now we're at the end of September as I'm filming this. And with Halloween coming up. You got stuff like Witch Please, Sheep Faced, <laughs> another good one you had me at Tacos. You know, there's a lot of clever stuff that you can come up with that will really sell. And you know, all you, all you need to do is just find some good fonts, which I'll show you in the next video, and you can come up with some good stuff. You know, you can head on Etsy, for example, too, and look, Love with the Period, Sells which is pretty easy to design. I'm actually a mermaid, it's pretty random, but you know, people buy anything, so you know, there's a lot of stuff you can get inspired from. You know, even if you go to Old Navy, you got stuff like this Jamaica Bay, Queens, New York. It's all good, some cool typography going on here. You know, you can get inspired by anything. You know, one thing I like to do too is for example, you know, if you're at Target shopping around, if you go to the t-shirt section, you know, snap some photos and get some good inspiration that way. Take some notes, you know, what holidays are coming up. Um, you know, what's something quick and easy you can make and put online, and next thing you know, you're making money off of it. And, you know, if you are a designer, you can create something more in depth, but even if not, you can just do you know, stuff with some typography on it, and you're good to go. You know, if you have your own artwork, you can upload that stuff as well. But, you know, in the next tutorial, I'll go over some places, you, you know, websites you can find some good fonts, some good designs, and, you know, keep it going. All right, when it comes to free fonts, you know, dofont.com is kind of the classic site that everybody goes to for free fonts uh, as you can see they have a variety of stuff you know some might be you know too cartoony which depends on the style that you're going for you know they have some good stuff depending on maybe some themes for example as i mentioned you know with halloween coming up you might want to use some of this stuff which is good and all, but if you want more of a classic contemporary feel, you can go to Font Squirrel. As you can see, you know, Roboto is a good font. 
Bay Boss is gray as like a condensed bold font. Pacifico for some script writing. Now font fabric is great too with you know very various sets that you can download, but they have kind of some previews, some samples you can use that are great. Now lost type dot com is something I pretty much owe my my college career to. Man, they have some good stuff on here that you can download for free. You know, even stuff I haven't seen in a while, some new stuff they've added. You know, for example, right here, Fairview is condensed, bold. You know, Silburn looks cool, almost like a hand painted font. Dude is very Western looking. Well, Venera is very, you know, futuristic space looking. Font Shop is pretty cool too. You know, this is more of a site that you purchase expensive fonts, but they have a lot of free samples on here too that you can use. You know, a lot of good looking stuff on here. Now, if you want to, you know, get some free vectors, free designs, you can head to freepick.com. They got some good stuff. You know, some of these you got to, you know, kind of add in there that, you know, where this originated from, give credit to the original artists. And you can also edit these yourself. And, you know make them your own combine them with other designs with some of your own stuff and make it look good same thing with the Vectizi Fushizi they got a lot of stuff they got their featured vector icons they got some patterns going they even have a premium section that if you want to pay for they got a lot of good stuff on here so that should help you out you know where to find some good fonts graphics and Add them all together to create your own original artwork for your t-shirts. All right, when it comes to, you know, setting up your design and getting ready to export, to upload on a print on demand sites, well, you, what you need to know is the dimensions you should use is a width, six to 500 pixels, while the height, seven to 800 pixels. So I happen to be using Adobe Illustrator, but whether you're using Photoshop, GIMP, or Canva, make sure to use those dimensions so you can upload, you know, your design to various print-on-demand sites, and it'll work for all of them. So, quick story behind this design that I'm using, which happens to be one of my best sellers. So, Sit Down, Be Humble was from a Kendrick Lamar song. I'm a big hip-hop fan. I keep me creative. I'm very inspired by the music. And I got thinking, you know, I got this alert on my phone that was saying that Kendrick's new album, Damn, happened to be number one on Billboard. And so I was thinking, well, you know, if, if everybody's listening to this, people want to, you know, buy shirts of it, buy merchandise of it. So sure enough, you know, I typed Sit Down, Be Humble in kind of the same style that was used on his Damn shirts. and. Yeah, and actually, you know, you know, I was selling these within a day or two. I just uploaded this. You know, this design took me, I would say, like a couple of minutes. Uploaded them to various print-on-demand sites. And, yeah, I was making money from it. So, it's simple as that. You know, just type something out. Type a cool quote. And you can make money from it. So, when you want to export... And you can say for web, you can make sure that it's a PNG. Those are the type of files that the print on demand size usually want you to save it as. And then make sure to include transparency. So what that means is that if it's transparent, you know, the little checkered background means that there's nothing behind it. 
you know, otherwise it will just have a white background. And you don't want that because you're going to be uploading this for various colored shirts and items. And so you don't want just a white background on it. So all you need to do is save. We'll upload to the desktop. You know, name your file. Easy as that. All right, the first print on demand site I'll be walking you through is TeePublic. And I have a referral link I can share with you guys. Uh, so that way, you know, for every design that you sell, I'll receive a dollar from it. Uh, this doesn't take away from your commission, but I want to let you guys know I'm rooting for you guys. You know, I hope you know you make a lot of money doing this. And so, if you just sign up at t. dot pub slash lick slash l c c r h six s g c seven k, it'll get you all signed up. You can create your account. You know, upload your profile image and a banner, and your store is good to go. You know, you can set up your your PayPal account through there, and it's pretty easy. You know, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. All right, T Public is a really cool website because whenever you upload a new design, it automatically shows up as as a shirt that's on sale for fourteen dollars, and it'll last for three days. So what's pretty cool is that when you upload it, you can start sharing it, and that way, you know, it's a pretty cheap shirt, and you might get more sales for a discounted design than maybe you would for a full price one. Now, what I like about this website too is that they have a lot of cool uh, pop culture designs on here. You know, stuff from movies, TV shows. Video games. You can actually see uh, what trending tags there are. You know what are people looking at? What are people buying? You know a lot of fun stuff on here. Now, I'll walk you through how to upload your artwork so you can start selling it. So you can click upload a design and add a new PNG, which I showed you how to export. So I'm just adding in the same one that I designed. So success is starting to load the artwork. You'll be seeing it pop up. Pretty there it is. So you can actually make them bigger, you know, if you want to do all of the wall art. But for the most part, it covers pretty much everything. So you can put your title in here. You know, add some extra keywords in there. So it has in here, you know, what's the main tag people are gonna search for? Maybe, you know, looking up your design. So, for example, for me, it would be Kendrick Lamar. And tags, you know, even though this is optional, you know, it's much better to start including tags that people would search for, to where, you know, your items will show up. So, for example. In my case, I could do like hip hop, rap, rapper, and it's cool that it gives you suggestions. So you can just keep uploading them, and you know, always fill these up. I think it gives you about fifteen keywords that you can use, and then you can add a description.
and you can say whatever you want here something quick and easy that you know is descriptive of what your your design is and now the upload process on tpublic is pretty easy so as you can see here you can move around exactly where you want your design to go you know right here you have some tools that this centers your design like let's say you accidentally move it too far you know you can center it you can also change the the size of it and you have all these you know different apparel items you can choose a default color which in my case it would be white kind of based on a parody of the way some of the other Kendrick shirts are and see it chooses whatever color you picked and adds them to all of the other ones for some of them they don't but you can you know switch up whatever color you want so you know I picked white and red for the baseball tee for hoodie since there's no white you know it looks kinda cool and gray here we got vintage white And what's cool too is that there's so many colors to choose from that by default it selects all of them, but you can choose which ones you know won't look good. For example, you know, red on red, you won't be able to read it, so you can just deselect some of these guys right here. You know, orange too. And other than that, I mean it can look good on some of these other ones. And you're pretty much giving your customers more options, you know, when it comes to buying your product. So here you can configure some of the other ones. So for example, wall art, you can choose portrait or landscape, which in this case it would look better landscape. You know, 9 by 16 ratio looks pretty good, pretty centered. They also have a phone and laptop cases so the laptop case looks good but you know with the phone you know that might be too small so you can actually switch however your di your design's going to look you know you can do it to where you can make it bigger where it's landscape you know center it there you know the proportion fits a little better a little better that way and since I chose white as default that's why it automatically has it but you can change it to whatever color you want let's say you have certain brand guidelines and you can you know just paste in your your hex number there and you're good to go you also got some notebooks which these look pretty uh, pretty cool pretty good and they have the same type of tools that you can mess with to edit them. All right, when it comes to mugs, you know, it all kind of depends on how you want it to look. Some people want their mug just, you know, design on one side. Uh, but in this case, since it's wide enough, you can kind of do it to where it'll wrap around the whole mug. All right, and now for stickers, you can choose different layouts. So it's automatic which sometimes might not be as good seeing how for example in this case it cuts it off kind of divides it into two stickers you know you don't really want that this one has an automatic background you know which sometimes can look good this one looks a little bubbly a little cloudy so then there's also where you have a background so it's just you know in the landscape shape and you can change the the ratios so 9 by 16 will probably look best, you know, even make it a little bit bigger, center it. And, you know, agree to the terms and conditions before you publish. But other than that, you know, you're good to go at this point. I love TeePublic. It's just, you know, quick and easy design setup. And what you can do, too, is maybe on another document, you know, you can... You know, save your title, text, save your tags and description. That's way, you know, that way you can just keep uh, copying and pasting. You know, when you upload one design, just, uh, you know, open the other websites I'm going to show you 
and just do one design on all four sides you know pretty easy in that way you can just set up your your various stores so then you can click publish and you're good to go okay now it's time to walk you through Redbubble Redbubble is a great website that is very big on independent artists you know a lot of cool artwork that people are creating they even have featured artists and this happens to be one of the websites that I make most of my money you know when it comes to print on demand sites and what's awesome too is that they're a big international community so people all over the world can buy your artwork so I'll walk you through how to upload your designs after you make your account you can go to your little icon on the top right and then click add new work all right and then you can click here see that you can upload your design to all products like I said the more chances you have of selling on more items all right it's almost done loading upload complete and you'll start seeing some previews on the various products all right so the way it's set up is it has certain categories so this one right here the first one is standard print clothing so you can click edit You can see previews of different colors. But by default, I believe it automatically has all the colors, so you're not choosing which ones you want or don't want. And just how T public was, you know, you can choose to with these options, you know, center it horizontally or vertically which you know helps a lot and make sure it's nice and centered so you can see the the different types of clothing items that you can sell and so you can just walk through the various ones and choose your your default colors they even have large print clothing it's just kind of a, a larger shirt. This one's automatically white, so I'll keep it as it is. Now, these next items that have these kind of black sleeves are pretty much ones that you can print all over. You know, all over shirts and tees are pretty popular right now. They're pretty good trend that you can take advantage of so another cool thing that Redbubble does is right here where it says repeat you can do it to where you know it's like a pattern you know this design isn't necessarily the perfect example for that but you know if you have a small design like a small icon you can do the repeat and make a pretty cool pattern out of it. And then you'll have an all over shirt that people would want to buy. So since, you know, my design won't look as good on these, if you click where it says enabled, you know, now it's disabled so that it's not in my store. Stickers are automatically as is and you don't necessarily have to edit them so they got a lot of options for phone cases unfortunately on this one you can't switch around the size you know like uh, kind of the way I did on T Public, and then 
right here you can see the preview of it and they have a lot of good stuff on here you know just like society six they have the pillows they have phone wallets they even have posters The laptop skins and sleeves are pretty cool. Just add it on there, get them centered. So as I mentioned before, you know, you would go into every one of these items that you want to sell and make them look good, you know, make them look how you want have them centered you know mugs are pretty popular so just throw this guy in there nice little preview image The leggings are another example of ones that you would rather have, you know, an all over design, you know, some sort of pattern. So in this case, I'll disable it. You know, same thing with the, the mini skirts and the scarves. So, you know, when I'm normally uploading, I'll be centering all of these items. I'm just kind of saving time while walking you through all of this. The clocks are pretty unique. You can kind of just center it here. It gives you some guidelines. You know, just like that. You can even change the colors of the frame or the hands. They have art boards on here. Acrylic blocks to showcase your artwork. And then the last item is the wall tapestry which for some reason it's automatically disabled but you can you know enable it which I've sold these before so you know good thing I did catch that I made sure it was enabled so just center that guy there And then of course, you'll be copy and pasting your, your title. So right here, you would just paste the description that you saved. Now in Redbubble, when it comes to tags, you can add up to 50 and just separate them with uh, spaces and commas. And you know, you can take advantage of all of those you know, some of the other ones only have 15 to 20 slots for tags, but, you know, Redbubble, it's great to have that many. And it's its own international marketplace, so people are searching and shopping on here and will find it. You know, you even have options to, uh, you know, have your descriptions and tags translated, which I haven't tried this yet, but... You know, it's something I want to look more into and take advantage of for international sellers. So under media, for example, mine will be digital art, design and illustration, because you can select up to two. And if you have collections, you know, your own categories, you can save them to those, you know, kind of separate your, your products. So you can choose like what your your default image is 
I usually like to showcase showcase the t-shirts and hoodies as its main default view but you can choose any one of these like the phones mugs or even just the image of your design then you'll put it public you know if you want everybody to see it if you choose private you can put it here then it asks uh, if this is mature content which in this case no And you'll check this box. You know, to show that you know this is your artwork. Then after all that's done, you just click save work. And yeah, you're good to go. It'll be uploaded to all your, your products into your store. Okay, now I'll be walking through Society 6. So Society6 is another print-on-demand website. It has a lot of great items. You know, as you'll notice, you can see that they have a lot of patterns that people upload, and I feel like that's what tends to sell more. Uh, this is one that, honestly, I don't sell as much on because I feel like you know, I need to put into more time into my patterns and upload more of those. But, yeah, this is a great store. You know, a lot of good stuff on here. And I'll walk you through how to upload your designs just like on the other websites. So you'll just click here on sell. And then click right here to upload your artwork. Alright, it's loading up. There it is. So make sure to click this box that you own all the rights to the image. And if you have mature content, you will click this box. And then go to the next step. So as I mentioned before, you should probably have a document or something where you can copy and paste, you know, the title of your artwork and some of the tags and the description. It's usually something that I do, but since I'm just walking you through, I'm just kind of going through this quickly. So when you choose your category, for example, you know, mine's graphic design, and, you, and it even gives you suggested tags. So you can put typography, digital, and of course you would add in here tags that relate to your design. So kind of the same thing I've been walking you through. It can enter up to 20, and so make sure you know you add in there all 20 so more people can find your work. And then here you can paste in your description, like I mentioned before. And once you complete this whole section, you can continue to create products. So they sell art prints on here. And with the little dollar signs, that means you can actually change the pricing for art prints while the rest of the items is a fixed price. And some of these are toggled off. So you can just click on so that you can sell more. But as you can see, the design is kind of cut off. So when you want to fix it, you just click edit. And then it will load it up. All right, there it is. So you can click scale, you know, change the size of it. Unfortunately, on Society6, there's not an option where, you know, you can center it. So you kind of have to eyeball it and you know try to see if it's centered enough then when you're done editing just click save and close so you keep going down the line so you can create notebooks
it has the full document so you can kind of just choose you know one side for example with this design kind of make it smaller and have it as if it would be on the front page and you got some pillows on here and I kind of do the same thing I've mentioned you can make it smaller and try to eyeball it and center it So yeah, they have some interesting items on here. They got clocks, blankets. These rectangular pillows are actually what I've been selling more on here. You got mugs, comforters. So there's a lot of items that you can edit on here. The tote bags look pretty cool. And just try to scale it and center it. And down here at the bottom, you can actually see the preview of it, see what it looks like. Save and enable. So pretty much, Society6 allows you to upload so many different items. So you just click on and edit and you know make your items look good so that people will buy them. And as I mentioned, you know, pattern designs would look great on a lot of this stuff. You know, the design that I'm using at the moment might not you know, it might not look as good, but once you add in some patterns, you know, that's what sells. For example, on this backpack, it would look really cool. And yeah, so pretty much toggle as much as these on as, as you can, so that way you can sell more items. So there's some more items which are apparel products. So these are the various colors that you can choose. So as I mentioned before, since my design is red, we will kind of take off, you know, these warm colors since it won't look as good. And again, you can just size it down. Seems like a good spot to have the design. And you can check out your preview looks pretty good save and enable and yeah once you go through all of these products you know make sure that they all look good of course and once you're all done and you're comfortable with what you have just here in the top left corner just click publish and you're good to go. So we're in the last final video of this course. And again, thank you for sticking around and you know learning about print on demand. And I hope it's been helpful. So uh, I just wanted to go through some other print on demand websites and I have some bonus resources for you as well. So another print on demand site is Teespring. And they have a pretty big following. They have a lot of people buying their t-shirts and they even recently added other products. You know, they have pretty clever designs on here and the profit you can make is a lot more than some of the other websites. My only problem is that I'm still kind of learning it, still sort of figuring it out. So, 
for example, organically, you know, I've been able to sell four products, making $14 profit. This isn't as much as my other websites, you know, the other ones like Redbubble and T Public. And, you know, I'm trying to learn how exactly this works. You know, maybe we can all figure out and share with each other how to make some sales on here. Um, the four shirts that I've sold, for example, is this The Rock 2020, The People's President. And this is the only one I've managed to sell. And I kind of need to look into, you know, what makes this one different from all my other products and go from there to try to sell some more. I recently ran across an article that, you know, some some artist was making, he made over 100000 in one year by using Teespring and setting up Facebook ads. And so, of course, when you're setting up Facebook ads, you got to put money down and that's more of a risk. You know, my sales have come organically and I haven't experimented yet with that. You know, haven't been promoting my items as much on social media and still have got sales. But with Teespring, it's a little different. So, you know, you might have to do some research and figure it out, but it could be worth it. So Designed by Humans is another print on demand website. And they have, for example, you know, Star Wars officially licensed T-shirts. You know, they have various brands you know, aside from independent artists. So that could be a good thing or a bad thing because, you know, these officially licensed brands will attract a lot of attention, but then, you know, if people are buying those items, it might take away from what you're trying to sell. So I just recently joined this. So my dashboard, you know, I don't have any sales yet. Uh, they've been removing some of my designs, which I feel like, you know, tends to happen when you kind of experiment. Um, I feel like they weren't copyright, but I think they have stricter rules seeing how they have, you know, other licensed brands. Um, but yeah, I love the way you can upload your products on here. Yeah, I'm not going to show you the whole thing. Uh, it's pretty easy. But, you know, the only reason why I wasn't really walking you through on here was uh, because I haven't made any sales and I wasn't going to act like, you know, I've made all this money on here. Um, but yeah, you can add apparel and phone cases, art prints, stickers, mugs. They have a lot of options and it's very easy to upload. So you guys should check it out. Now the last and definitely not least when it comes to print on demand websites is Merch by Amazon. So some of you may or may have not heard of this. So pretty much Merch by Amazon works the same way um, you know, as other print on demand websites, but the difference is that you have the marketplace of Amazon to upload your work. So that means millions of people shopping on here and looking every day and it's just so easy to make money on here so in order to join you have to request an invitation and sign up from your amazon account and some people have been saying it it can take up to a year to get approved you know maybe even longer and they don't necessarily keep you updated uh you know if they're going to approve approve you or not and it takes some time so you have to be patient but I was using Merch by Amazon before and unfortunately I was removed because at the time I had certain tags on there that were copyright and they were still changing some of their guidelines. And so my work got removed. Um, when Pokemon Go, the app and game came out, uh, I didn't download it, I didn't play it because I was on Merch by Amazon uploading a bunch of Pokemon inspired shirts and in one of the months I kid you not I was able to make about nine hundred dollars you know close to a thousand in one month 
I had saved a screenshot. Just to show you. So, for example, I was selling 141 products and my royalties were at $723. And so that's within the last seven days. So at that point, I was making over $100 a day by doing merch by Amazon. So please sign up and Hopefully you get approved soon and can start selling on here because there's a lot of money to be made. Alright now, uh, I've also created a Facebook group. It's called Earn Passive Income from Print On Demand Sites Course Group. And I'll post the link also so that way you know we can kind of build a community and talk about print on demand sites and you know earning revenue and passive income and you know learn from each other and you know I don't know it all and so I'd like to see you know what you guys come up with and if you need any help you can reach out and you know keep growing the community and just as a final resource if you head to zubiacreative.com uh, this is my website where you can check out my various shops here on the side uh, I, I also offer services as a freelancer. Uh, you know, I can do logos if you come up with a story and you need a logo uh, or brand your social media pages or your t-shirt stores, uh, even creating ads for your products or, you know, posting them on social media. Just reach out to me and, you know, I can get that stuff done. And, you know, if you find me through this course, I'll give you a discount too. And, I'm hoping that we can learn and collaborate and help each other grow. I also have my blog and about pages and contact. Uh, you can just go on contact and just fill out this form if you want to reach out to me. You can also you know, head to anthonymzubi at gmail.com if you want to email me uh, for any services or any questions or just to say hello. Um, I'll be adding more to my blog, and then you can also sign up for my newsletter. So let's keep it going, guys. It's been a pleasure, and thank you for checking out my class.